Hello everyone, this is LEGO Toby, and today I will be doing a LEGO set review for the LEGO City Fire Brigade set from last year in 2022. And this set released again in January of 2022, includes 7 minifigures, 766 pieces, 3 animal pieces, and as of recording this video, retails for $100 in the United States. And the set number for this set is... Se or six zero three two one. I am very well used to the uh, uh, Lego licensed theme sets that have seven zero so on so forth. So that being said, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the minifigures. But first, I do have to say this: this is the very first Lego City set I've ever gotten since 2019 and this is the longest i've ever went without getting a lego city set and it's also worth knowing that this is now the largest lego city set and this is also one of the first recent lego city sets i have gotten too so and i have noticed that lego city has gotten noticeably better as a theme and it's obviously not lego friends good still but it's definitely getting closer with more tolerable prices and overall much better lego sets as a whole so now we shall take a look at the minifigure selection and the set itself to see if, if LEGO City really has improved since I last gotten a set from this theme. So first, we have Clemens here with some typical generic front and back firefighter torso printing and leg printing. This is actually the same exact torso and leg printing as with this firefighter minifig here, and even the same helmet piece for that matter, which is dual molded and has a visor piece with that from uh, classic helmet pieces. And we have his front face expression, which shows him smiling. And on the back, he has a face print where he is just freaking out and is scared. So overall, I really like the face printing that this minifig has personally, but I don't really have anything else to say about this minifig beyond that. Next up, we have Feldman, which I'm pretty sure is the last name of this character. I've never really watched the LEGO City Adventures show. I've only seen one episode. And she does have some torso printing, though I doubt it's exclusive. Keep in mind, I don't think any of the minifigures in the set are exclusive. So keep that in mind. She does come with some nice front and back torso printing, as well as, once again, the same leg printing as with every other firefighter minifig in the set. And on the front face print, she is smiling again. And on the back... She has a closed eye expression, like as if she's meditating or something, or resting. And that's not the first time I've seen this face printing either. Um, the very first instance I remember this face printing being, or at least the earliest I can recall anyways, is from that one weird 2018 Lego set where it's been there, donut that. We have another really generic firefighter minifigure that pretty much has the same exact uh, torso printing as Clemens does. And if I'm not mistaken, she does not come with any back face printing either. And then we have a firefighter minifigure who has a helmet this time because she rides on a motorcycle and does have unique torso printing compared to uh, the rest of the minifigs. Once again, here's what the back torso printing looks like. And underneath the helmet, uh, she just it's just a minifig with glasses and again, no back torso printing. And I think we all know the drill with these classic 80s helmet pieces with the flip-up visor. And then we get this firefighter minifig here, which I will say, even though this, th this group of pieces here has been around since 2007, as far as I can tell, it's still really satisfying to put together to this day. And I would argue this group of pieces was he ahead of its time when it did first come out, at least. So the way this works is that you can pretty much remove this uh, firefighter helmet piece here. But, and then uh, you also have this really interesting piece too. So that's interesting. And you also have a blue oxygen tank and a really generic minifig face print. Not the first time we've gotten this either. However, unlike the rest of the firefighter minifigs in this set, he does come with a more brownish firefighter suit that you'd see in real life as well. And again, he comes with uh, torso and leg printing. Here's what the back torso printing looks like. And now once again to try and put the minifigure back together again. And interesting enough, this actually slides in like that. So that is really interesting for what it is. So overall, pretty neat minifigure, even if he is pretty common. This is another really interesting minifigure where it seems to be uh, 
someone who cleans up cleans up messes, and he comes with a broom, and we'll see why this minifigure is included in the set later on. But he also includes this really interesting dual molded helmet piece that was first used with that one uh, nuclear cleanup guy minifigure in series four of Lego minifigures, I believe. And once again here, we're actually uh, left with what is essentially another firefighter minifig, uh, at least in terms of design, but in uh, school bus yellow. Here's what the front uh, torso printing and leg printing looks like, and here's the back torso printing. Overall, I do not have much else to say about this minifig, so we shall now move on to the last official minifigure in this Lego set, that being a simple child who is smiling on the front, and his alternative expression is him being sad. And again, it's a pretty common face print, not the first time I've gotten that myself, and this is a relatively common torso piece as far as I can tell too. Here's what the back looks like, but overall neat torso piece nonetheless, or printing. So that's all of the official minifigs included with this Lego set. And the last thing I do wanna go ahead and talk about here is that um, we also get this net piece, which I've never gotten before. You can essentially have a couple minifigures grab a hold of it like this. And I will say it is really tough to try and get the minifigure to hold that. Um, like, let me just try and... Yeah, again, it is... Oh my gosh, yeah. Like, it is a weird rubbery texture. And yeah, I'm having a really tough time. It's possible to have the... Okay, there we go. Yeah, I'm not going to have uh, another minifig try to hold of it, but I think you get the idea of how this piece works, but man, it's tough to have a minifigure uh, try and hold it. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at all of the fire-related side builds. So first, we have this fire motorcycle here with an interesting design, mainly for the printing here. So... Last time I got a motorcycle build like this, which I believe the last time I did ended up with the, was the Shang-Chi Escape from the Ten Rings Lego set. And even then, like that was from 2021 and those were stickered too. I'm not sure if Lego has been suddenly decided to make a decision to make all these motorcycle pieces prints or if it's just for Lego City, but I'm so glad these are printed pieces. That is really awesome. And you also get a generic blue fire extinguisher. And as always, you can have a firefighter uh, minifigure drive the motorbike. Beyond that though, I really do not have anything else to say about this build. Besides how insane it is that it's actually a printed design finally, I honestly don't have anything else to say about this design. It's just a normal, typical motorcycle design. Next up, we have a really interesting build where it is a fire car, and I mainly wanted to talk about the new color with this build here, because interesting enough, there is a new highlight highlighter yellow color, and it really shows. Unfortunately, there is a sticker up front and a couple license plate stickers here and here. Um, but besides that, I do wanna go ahead and take a look at this piece, even though there is a sticker on it mainly for one reason, the highlight ye highlighter yellow color. It's honestly an insane color, in my opinion, and an insane new color choice. And honestly, it kind of practically looks like looking at knockoff Lego because it's just such a weird color. Like, compare this to normal yellow, the yellow that was used in the original uh, 1978 Yellow Castle, and just look at this. Even on video, you can tell the differences between the two colors. Like, it is a much brighter color of yellow, for sure. So, as for the fire car itself, it's a typical generic design of a regular Lego car, with, once again, another blue fire extinguisher, and once again, um, okay, and there is a jumper plate in there to put the blue fire extinguisher in, and once again, you can open it up. And once again, you can pretty much just place a normal minifigure inside of the car. And it is a, it can be a bit of a tight fit, and you also have to make sure the minifig is leaning back. 
Um, but overall, yeah, it's a generic car design besides the interesting new color that was introduced here. And now we, and of all the fire vehicle builds, if I had to be honest, this honestly should have been the only fire vehicle build in this set. And it would make a lot of sense too, because this one really does have all the play features and does all the action, if you ask me. And seriously, it's a really fun build in general, where in the front here, we have another license plate sticker here, unfortunately, but that's really common in this set. And up here, we have another sticker. And of course, we have alarms as uh, one by two tiles in transparent blue and just regular transparent. And over here, we have a bit of an interior to sit a couple minifigures. I'm gonna place uh, Feldman here in uh, the front seat like this. And yeah, um, because the wheel is right there, I do prefer to place her right there as well. And you can also place this guy in the second seat too, since last I checked, that's what the instructions uh, recommended. And interesting enough, we have another blue fire extinguisher here, as well as a side door that reveals nothing, as well as another sticker, and a lot more of the highlighter yellow colors here. And then moving on to the other side of the fire truck, I accidentally popped off this shovel piece earlier on in the review, by the way, if you, if, in case you haven't noticed. We, have, we get a shovel there, and you also get this axe build as well, which I don't think I've ever gotten this piece before, but it's a really neat piece. But besides that, it is, for the most part, the same thing as the other side, except for this part. Like, I think these are different colors, if I'm not mistaken. Like, yeah, I think so. So, yeah, that's pretty interesting. And then over here, um, I'm trying to set that down real quick. Again, we have the shovel I had previously brought up. And then over here, uh, moving back to this side, um, let me just let me just try and set that back down. Um, we have a really interesting new piece too that I'm not sure when Lego did this, but I am so glad they did this nonetheless. Where okay, I'm just gonna just remove this part altogether for now. Where with a string element, since Lego firefighter sets do tend to have a lot of string in them. It seems that for the first time, like it seems that rather than string you have to tie yourself, they actually decided to go ahead and use studs on them, which is honestly really relieving because I honestly do not know how to tie things very well. So seeing that we get studs, like this is a brand, like instead of just having like a miniature hole there, we actually get a full blown stud in my opinion. That's what Lego should have been doing the whole time because like, I do not like tying string at all. Like even outside of building a Lego set, especially outside of building a Lego set. But yeah, this is a new 2022 stud shooter design as well that well you can shoot like this. And uh, thankfully I did catch the stud and the stud does indeed go in sideways. But you can also uh, turn this knob and so that way you can have a minifigure like Clemens grab hold of it. And so that way he can move with the uh, piece moving. So overall, beyond that, I don't have too much else to say. It's just a generic stud shooter. But again, I'm just really glad that they decided to use uh, studs to connect the string instead of making it where you have to tie yourself because I hated having to tie it myself. So... Yeah, but thankfully I only have gotten a couple Lego sets where that was the case. For some reason you can open this compartment up, but it kind of reveals nothing. So I don't know what the point of this area is supposed to be exactly. And uh, I'm not sure if I brought this up yet, but we get this exact same sticker on the other side too. But now for uh, the main play feature of this particular build, uh, putting this part back on, we of course have the water in of itself where you can essentially lift this up and down. Let me just uh, raise my phone up a bit. Yeah, like that. But more impressive though, is that you can actually uh, shoot it like this and it shoots pretty far too. So I'm gonna put my phone back on my tripod and okay, good, I caught it. Yeah, but these shoot really far though. Not the, Again, not the first time I've ever gotten a spring-loaded launcher as I call them in. 
I actually really like this piece and I love how like watery it looks and even the bubbles in there. Like this is an awesome mold for what it is and it really does look like water shooting out of this piece here. So I really like that, I really do. And again, you can adjust this design, move it around. You can move this part around too. Overall, it is a really well designed build in my opinion. Even if it is a really generic fire vehicle, it's a well designed one nonetheless. And you can also attach this trailer as well, which reveals um, a couple of crates that don't really have anything in them, unfortunately. And um, some more area and some more clips to hold what, uh, accessories. And um, you get what is, in my opinion, the worst kind of shooter, a tile shooter, which don't even shoot that far. Like this is how far they shoot. I will say this, with this specific wave of LEGO City sets, they do introduce a brand new splat piece where, like, this is not even the only color you get of it in this set, but it's a neat new piece nonetheless. But I do hate how common tile shooters are, especially in LEGO City. And, once it, and you do get an extra of one of these pieces too, so we may as well load that in. And you can adjust this one as well. And yeah, I do not like tile shooters at all, personally. They are just so tough to shoot, or at least a lot harder than, say, stud shooters, and they don't even go that far. I mean, I guess that can be an advantage for some people, but again, they're just nowhere near as powerful as stud shooters. But that's everything I need to say about the fire vehicles, finally. So now, let's go ahead and move on to the main build itself and why this set has caught my attention as much as it did, the Sardine Factory build. So we have this little area of grass with a fire hydrant, as well as a ginger tabby cat piece, which, you know, is fine for what it is. We've gotten this, I believe, initially in the Lego movie nearly a decade ago, so that's nice. But what is really neat about the set, though, is the new Lego kitten element, and oh my gosh, these things are just so adorable. You get a nice white cat piece or white kitten piece as well as a ginger kitten piece. Unfortunately, there are no stripes on it like the adult kitten, but still, this is just such a cute little design. I love it. And interesting enough, this here is actually a print and an exclusive one, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm so glad this ended up being a print instead of a sticker because this is a really awesome print for what it is. And we get this seemingly fence build. But beyond that, I do not have anything else to say about that build. But I will say this though, uh, this is all, being the very first LEGO set I've gotten since 2019, um, there is something that many LEGO, that has really uh, set the discussion for LEGO City fans. And that is, of course, the new road plate system. And this is what the new road plates look like. And um, you can pretty much just have vehicles ride on them like this. And it's definitely been one of the more controversial things about modern LEGO City. Personally, I love the road plates. I really do. I think they're really neat and they can be also be very customizable. Oh yeah, and also the instructions advise that you use this broom piece. Yeah, specifically this piece too, by the way, to essentially uh, pop out some of the tiles off like this. Wait, it, it, am I doing it the right way? Okay, yeah, I believe so I am. Because there really isn't any other way to uh, pop the tiles off there. So, and it's honestly a little more difficult than I initially thought at least uh, trying to record it on video. So let me just try and... Ah, oh, there we go. I was worried it wouldn't pop out for a second, but that's how you pretty much do it. Gonna put that back on. But of course, you can also remove these uh, tiles too. So yeah, overall, I really like the road plates design and certainly a lot more than most people do, but though that is just me. But now on to uh, the main, main part of the builds, besides uh, this little area of grassland and the road plates, which again were introduced with this Lego set. Now it's about time we go ahead and officially talk about 
well, again, the main build. And I gotta say, um, so first we have this container unit here where this is what it looks like from the back. And if you push this, um, a fire actually pops out like that. And uh, you can actually ha uh, grab the tile shooter here and shoot it. And theoretically, it should put out the flame like that. And then when you close it, it can open back up like that again. So that's pretty neat. And then as for the other side build, we have a tower of spoiled top secret sauce and it seems to be leaking and here's the proof. Another tile shooter, except this time it's in, it, the splat piece is in lime green. Ugh. Don't think anyone's gonna be on a, eating this sauce anytime soon. And it must be so spoiled to where it seems that the guy in the uh, hazmat suit has to clean it up. So that's really unfortunate. Okay, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the road plate from there again. So that way we can get a closer look at the sardine factory itself, um, because it really is a neat build. So over here we have a boarded up door as well as a stickered keep out sign and um, even a fire going on there. Again, you can pretty much uh, easily knock that out like that. It's not really connected to anything. So that is something worth noting. I'm not even gonna try and put it back in actually. But as you get up here, you'll notice that there's also a sticker saying rebuild, seemingly graffiti, impressive how those kids managed to get up that up there. And there's another sticker that's just a brick wall and a ton of flames going on here. And this is where the fun comes in, like the real fun of the Lego set comes in. And I'm gonna just go ahead and uh, try and put the road plate back here, or the road plates back here, um, like they initially were. Um, okay, I think I need to remove this part here. But yeah, trust me when I do say, this is actually a really fun playset for what it is. So you can actually have the fire truck go by, and with this giant shooter here, you can pretty much extinguish the fires like this. And it's pretty much a lot like a carnival game, and it's actually really fun. Like, you can just shoot them like that. Um, and, uh, um, whoops, that one, I guess, is kind of stubborn. There we go. Oh my gosh, that one really fell through. But I do think you get the gist. So... Yeah, and you can also reset the fires very easily too, because if you go up here, there's another sticker of, and a couple more stickers here of the Sardine Factory sign. Overall, this is actually a pretty neat build for what it is, but over here, you can actually reset the fires by spinning this around like that. And the way it works is in the back here, uh, when you spin it around, um, it, it pretty much makes sure the fire stays there. So, you know, it's pretty much everything I have to say for the build. And again, it's a pretty fun build for what it is, I'm not going to lie. But trying to set everything back to the way it originally was, whoops, um, did not mean to destroy that part there. Um, we shall now go ahead and take a look at the many instructions that the set has. We, of course, have the first instructions booklet here, which has a generic win advertisement with the mechanic. At the end of the second instructions booklet, we have an advertisement for the entire winter 2022 wave of LEGO City Fire sets. And on this instructions booklet here, we pretty much have uh, pretty much all the parts inventory. So, yeah, that's pretty much everything I have to say about the set itself. So now that I have said everything about the set itself, my final thoughts about the set are, it's a pretty fun set. Even though I don't think this is the greatest thing to have ever been released from LEGO City, it's honestly still a really fun one nonetheless, in my opinion. I will say that. This is actually a pretty fun play set. 
I don't think this is like the greatest Lego set of all time, even though it is pretty expensive at $100. But as a playset for kids, which I mean, Lego, which I'd say most Lego sets really should be, especially from Lego City, it's a pretty fun playset nonetheless. And there are quite a bit of displayable things from the set too. And even though the set may not have a very fair piece of part value, I do still think that the overall price of the set is decent. Where for $100, you do get quite a bit of stuff. You get three fire vehicles, a giant building that's pretty substantial for the size, and a lot more. And also, even though you don't get any exclusive minifigs in this set, they're still pretty cool minifigs nonetheless, especially if you don't really collect LEGO City that often. And again, this is a decent display set, but it's clear that it's more of a play set, and it's a pretty fun one at that. Unfortunately, I will say it's not the most original thing ever made, um, because in 2019 we have gotten a larger Fire Brigade set, it seems like that looks a lot like this one. So it's not the most original thing, unfortunately, but for what it is, it's still a very fun play set. Overall, I give this set a two and a half star rating, and I personally recommend this set to pretty much any kid, really, and especially completionists of the LEGO City theme, or heck, anyone who is willing to build a LEGO City too. Those are the main groups of people I would recommend this set to. It's not the greatest thing of all time. It's a, it's a good set, but certainly nothing great or that special. But at the end of the day, it is from LEGO City, and it is just my personal and honest opinion. Either way, this is LEGO Toby. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.